This video covers the eye splice procedure for Yale Cordage high performance double braids using the core braid back process for diameters 3 quarter inch and larger. Use a needle to secure the core inch sleeve roughly 10 feet from the end of the rope to be spliced. Begin by inducing sleeve slack, extracting the core from the end of the rope so that 15 times the rope diameter of core is exposed, or in the case of 1 inch rope, 15 inches of core is exposed. Measuring from the end of the exposed core, make your first eye mark at 37 inches. Form your desired eye size and make a second eye mark adjacent to the first. If a desired eye size is required, verify the length now. Use a needle and wax whipping twine to stitch the core and sleeve together approximately one inch inside of the first and second eye mark. At the first eye mark, use your marker to extend the line around to the back side of the rope. Use a fid to open the sleeve of the rope and extract the core. The core should be extracted on the side of the rope opposite where the first eye mark was originally made. Extract the core again at the location of the second eye mark. Extract a length of core approximately equal to the exposed core tail end. Use a pin to secure the core and sleeve together. Count down six core strands from the location of the first eye mark and pass the Swedish fid through the center of the rope towards the eye. Use the Swedish fid to pull the sleeve tail through the hollow center of the core. Use a needle and wax whipping twine to stitch together the core and sleeve at the location the sleeve enters the core. Milk out any slack in the core and cut the sleeve at the location where it exits the core. Unravel the end of the sleeve and make a 45 degree taper cut along its length. Reform the desired eye size and tape the base of the eye tightly. If you're going to insert hardware into the splice, be sure to do so now. Arrange the exposed core sections so that they lay next to each other with no twist. Starting at the location the sleeve enters the core, skip one strand pair and then mark six consecutive S strands. Mark the six corresponding S strands on the opposite side of the eye. Repeat this process for six consecutive Z strands on both sides of the eye. Tightly tape each of the 12 core strands of the rope. On the tail of the splice, select the last of the six S strands and completely extract the strand. Locate the last of the S strands on the body side of the splice.
tuck the extracted tail in such a way that it follows the path made by the partner strand in the body of the rope. In this construction, the tail will be tucked beneath two Z strands with each pass. Repeat the process for two additional S strands, being sure to correctly match the strand tails with the corresponding strands in the body of the rope. Flip the rope over to begin tucking the Z strand ends. Repeat the process for all six Z strands. Be sure to correctly align the last strand to establish the tuck pattern. It's important that all Z strands are tucked in the direction opposite to the S strands. Flip the rope over and tuck the last of the three remaining S strands. At this point, verify that all 12 strands have been tucked once, and that you have all six of the S strands on one side of the rope, and all six of the Z strands on the opposite side. Starting at the end closer to the eye, perform a second tuck on all six Z strands so they continue to follow the helical path of their matched pair. At this point, the S and Z strands will come together on one side of the rope. The S strands can be identified as those that are offset slightly closer to the eye. It may be helpful to use a different colored permanent marker to mark all of the S strands on the end. Repeat the tuck process on all six of the S strands. Once you've completed a second tuck on all 12 strands, you should have six strands on each side of the rope. Repeat the tucking procedure four additional times so that each of the 12 strands has been tucked six times. After you've completed six tucks of each of the 12 strands, it will be necessary to reduce the size of each strand by cutting out approximately half of the strand ends. 
In this example, each strand is comprised of seven ends. Three ends will be cut to form the taper. Perform three additional tucks with the tapered strand end. Repeat the taper and tuck process for all 11 remaining strand ends. Once you've completed tucking the tapered strand pairs, you should have 24 reduced strand ends all in line on one side of the rope. Using your rope cutters or a sharp knife, Cut the excess of each strand end flush with the side of the rope. Once all the strand ends are trimmed, you can move the rope to a block and tackle setup to finish burying the splice. Collect all of the sleeve slack up towards the base of the splice. Bury the splice by pulling on the core while milking any sleeve slack up towards the bottom of the eye. Be careful to avoid accumulating any excess sleeve slack inside the top of the eye itself. Periodically push any excess sleeve slack back into the body of the rope and continue trying to bury the core. The rope shown in this example is not coated. Coated ropes can be more difficult to bury and may require a block and tackle to complete. If a block and tackle is needed, put tension on the top of the eye and strike with a fit or mallet while milking slack towards the end of the rope. This splice should be completed with a whip lock performed approximately one inch below the face of the eye. Refer to the whip lock instructions at the end of the industrial single braid eye splice video.